If you have ever updated your iPhone and for some reason it is stuck on the loading screen and you did not back up your phone, you already know how painful it is. Data loss can be heartbreaking for many people because they lose their contacts, their app data, and most important of all, their pictures, especially if iCloud was not backed up. Luckily, I found a software that helps with data recovery, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it. It is called Dr. Phone by Wondershare, and it is the world's first iPhone data recovery software with the highest success rates in the industry. Not only does it recover from your iOS devices, you can also do it from your iTunes and your iCloud, which also includes your pictures, WhatsApp messages, videos, app data, voicemails, and 18 other data types. It carefully recovers every piece of data lost. I believe this is a perfect time because with iOS 17 that just came out, a lot of things are bound to happen, and the most likely thing that usually happens during this period, which of course is nobody's fault, is that when you're updating your iPhone, progress just stops, or maybe your battery just dies, or something just happens that is out of your control. And if you're like me, that this happens to a lot of the time, it is a nightmare. So to start with your data recovery, the first thing you need to do is install Dr. Phone by Wondershare, and you can get it from their website. I'll leave a link down in the description of this video. Click on download or try out the software online. Personally, I always prefer downloading all my softwares just in case I don't have any internet access for some reason. The Dr. Phone software is available for Windows and Mac, and since I have an iMac, I'm going to try it out for free. After the installation has been completed and you launch the application, you're going to see three tabs at the top. Data recovery, phone manager to transfer files from your phone to your computer, and WhatsApp transfer, which we're going to also talk about in this video. Below that are seven different options to choose from, and like I said, it is a very reliable piece of software. So if you've lost your data, using the data recovery tool is what you need. You have to choose between iOS and Android, and in this case, an iPhone is what I have. Next, you then choose where you want your data to be recovered from. Plug in your iPhone and make sure you tap on trust for the software to recognize your phone. When it connects, you can choose the number of files you want to recover. In this case, I want my pictures recovered. Just hit scan and it analyzes the pictures that can be gotten from your phone. And just like that, it shows me every single thing that I can get back. Another feature from Dr. Phone that is underrated is the transfer of WhatsApp chats from one phone to another. And yes, I understand WhatsApp kind of already allows you to do that with your iPhone to Android or whatnot, but it is not a seamless experience. Take it from me. On the Dr. Phone software, tap on WhatsApp transfer. You then need to click on transfer WhatsApp messages from one device to another. It is then time to connect your device to your MacBook and you will need to enter developer options to do this. Go into your settings, tap on phone, tap on system information, and then tap on the build number five times. Then go back to your main settings. Then you can see the developer options and in there, scroll all the way down and enable USB debugging. Now that both smartphones are connected to your computer, click on transfer and all you have to do is just follow the on-screen instructions. Click on no to make sure your transfer is a bit faster. And besides, I don't even have WhatsApp on my iPhone yet, so it is still good to go. Now it's time to install WhatsApp on your iPhone, and of course, you can find the application in the App Store. On your Android phone, you need to follow these instructions. Open your WhatsApp settings, click on Chats, click on Backup, and make sure your backup on your Google Drive is on Never, and then click on Backup. After the backup is complete, click on Next on your computer, and now it's going to show you this message. Now, don't worry about it, just click on Install. Follow the on-screen instructions again, allow WhatsApp Messenger permissions to your smartphone storage, and then click on Next. Follow the on-screen instructions on your Android phone, and you should be fine. Now, at this point, you need to turn off the Find My iPhone feature. To do this, go into your settings, tap on your iPhone or your Apple profile at the top, tap on Find My Phone. Now, to turn it off, you need to enter your Apple ID to complete this process. Follow the on-screen instructions again, and your phone will reboot. And when it comes back on and you open your WhatsApp, you will see that your messages are being restored. This is something everyone should have at their disposal because anything can happen. So guys, that's how you transfer WhatsApp messages from one Android phone to an iPhone and vice versa, and also recover your data on your iPhone. Remember, you can also recover your data through iTunes and your iCloud. If this is something you want to try out, click the link in my bio right now to get started. 
What feature from Dr. Phone is your favorite? Comment down below and let me know. And as usual, if you found any value from this video, make sure you like and subscribe as this goes a long way for me. Thank you guys for watching. My name is KJ Awas and I'll catch you guys in the next one.